with me once. Oh, okay. I, we were going to go again today, but... So beautiful. How you doing, buddy? Dude, this is amazing. They just flew over my house. Sweet. Oh, there we go. Brady, look to the right there. The orange house in the corner. You see it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There we go, man. There's home. Where's it at? The orange house in the corner there, next to the white condos. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, with a tin roof. Yep, yep, yep that's the house. One, one, three, clear touch and go, then make left closed traffic for Fort Midfield each pass. Wind is two zero zero at Niner. And clear touch and go, left traffic. Assess the four four two. Those transmissions are uh, very weak. They're about three by five. Yeah, four four two. How about now? That's a little better. Drop your wings. Well, let me know if you need anything. <laughs> just put the co-pilot, or the uh, autopilot on. Oh yeah, you just trim it, trim it out. Oh, yeah, I brought this book with me just for fun. This thing here. Stick and rudder. <laughs> it's funny, I, had a, I have this $10 bill in it. Because it was uh, 1970s 
oh, so nice. you don't really see these anymore. Right. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to keep it's that. It's old like me. It'll be good luck. I'm a 70s baby. But this is the best aviation book I've ever read so far. That's, I consider it my Bible. And of course, there's a lot of good books out there, but I think everybody should... Any, any form of flying or any form of uh, aviation as a pilot uh, that should be your, your first book. They should pay us for that. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> for the uh, you know, with all the technology and all the changing changes in aviation and advances in technology, the actual basics and the art of the reason a plane flies and the way it flies will never change. All uh, tower open. Tower Waco just passed the lighthouse southbound, see all of it. Fucking 244, Roger. Then I see Tower Helicopter 447 Quebec is at uh, Bravo 2, requesting be a part of departure. Let's see, Flagler, Adis. I'm pulling the Adis for Flagler. Helicopter uh, 428. You can proceed right. back up to the intersection of Bravo, Bravo 2. Proceed on course westbound, you're clear for takeoff from the intersection. Wind is 2, 0, wind 6, 0, wind 2, 4, out of service. Tower 1895. Apollo 1895, what's the position? Flagler Tower 538, what is Foxtrot? Report 3 mile final. Apollo 1945, what's the position? Currently entering downwind, left downwind, runway 24. What I want you to do is I want you to maintain at about 1,300 feet in every position to get from runway 24. Roger, maintain at about 1,300 feet before I'll take it. Tower, 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 Right downwind for 2 4 right? 2 4. Uh, we will report that three aircraft just flew over us uh, at uh, about 1,000. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you want, uh, I could pull up the diagram, but I don't think you need it. No, I got it. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> of course, if we, you know, we don't, we frequent Flagler every once in a while, so pretty, pretty familiar with it. If we weren't, then yeah, we'd pull up the diagram. It's kind of weird at first when you first start doing cross country. You're not, you know, you're trying to picture the airport. You're not used to it. You know, the the cardinal directions. Yeah. Hey, from everybody, let's do this. Signal to full four out and go. You're following the Diamond Twin Star. That's a little gusty. Not too bad. Kind of reminds me of the time I soloed down to New Smyrna. There's 21 knot gusts and a little 152, and I'm just flying at this height. And all right. of a sudden, one will come behind me, and it will just lift me up, like, right. <laughs> woo! For 304, you're going to be following the, the uh, Seminole off your right side for runway uh, 24, number 3, clear to land. Biplane's so much more stable. Yeah, I'm sorry, he's in the left. It really is. We already turned the base, and also he's just out of behind the base. There's boats. Nate, what's the uh, furthest you flew this thing? Canada. Woo! Yeah, he Canada. flew. Damn, that's like Canada. the last thing I expected to hear. I thought it was like, oh, Miami. What? Well, I tell people about how <laughs> we searched for close to a year for an airplane that was in good enough shape and at the right price. And, and I, I went to uh, St. Louis, went to uh, Chicago, uh, went to California, Bakersfield, I think wow. it was. Went to south or central Florida, and then. I, I mean, we didn't have, it was, we were using all our savings just to try to find an airplane. And, um, and when we finally found it, and I tell this to people, when we finally found it, guess where it was? You'd think, oh, in the backyard. No. Canada. Even further away. Canada. Damn. <laughs> so your average airspeed is about 100 miles an hour? Yeah, kind of a, on a conservative cruise right now just yeah. to save gas. It, the book says she'll cruise at a 130. I've never really seen that, you know, maybe 120, 125, gotcha. we push the power up. Gas is about four bucks a gallon, so I try to 
Yeah, plus, yeah. plus uh, no reason to push it, and I try to baby this engine and 35 grand for a rebuild. It's, do pretty much everything you can to keep her in good shape. Do you mind holding it for a second? No. No, no, the, the wheel, the airplane. Oh, yeah. You got it. Got some traffic at about one o'clock. Looks like a Osprey. Oh, I got him. <laughs> Tally Hope. <laughs> Slim 420, just to leave you in the other. Are there further confusion, sir? You're number two following the says on a mile and a half final runway 24, clear to land. How for that, number two, clear to land runway 24. Clear they like, they love the west winds because they ride the thermals. No problem, lots of people out here. Yeah, just takes them right up. Yep. That, the Kansas Inlet. Be the fort. Cute little fort. Yeah, the Kansas. Okay. All pressure's good, temp's good. BHT good. Water's real murky. Yeah, Probably from runoff, rain runoff. It's very murky. Check out these houses, like just on stilts, like right on the sand. See those right below you? Okay. See those houses? I know. Yeah, those so weird. have been there for so long. I know. I don't know how much longer they'll make it. You said you got a um, uh, one flight on your phone. Yeah. Is it up? Yeah. how close the airspace goes to the pier. I remember flying past their airspace, it doesn't come out to the shore. I didn't, no, I didn't think so either. Yeah. Nine nautical miles. Nine miles, okay. Yeah. Just kind of hit. This guy's 1,800 broken, temperature 25, 2.21, altimeter 3010. Visual approach runway 24 in use, Happy's runway 6, runway 24 out of service. Caution burden animal activity about the airfield. Advise on this contact, your information kilo. Kilo. We'll put it around. You can see the tower now. Front 304, runway 24, cliff takeoff. Front 304, cliff takeoff, runway 24. I'm Warner Walker 15244. And aircraft 244 calling Flagler uh, Tower C again, please. Yes, sir. Good morning. It's Walker 15244, approximately you know, seven and a half miles to the north above the uh, beach, 1,000 feet in Donald Land. Walker 15244, Roger report three miles to the north for the right downwind to runway 24. Right, quick report three miles to the north for the right downwind for 24 for 15244. So, what we'll do is go, he wants us north, so I'm going to cut in. Airport's right there. Yeah. What does he, does he want you to enter a base? He wants to enter a downwind, uh, right downwind. So what you do is you plan on a 45 and enter right downwind. Yeah. yeah. I can't hear him as well as you can. Your volume up. Colonel 244, Alpha Tango will be departing to the southwest. 244 Alpha Tango, proceed on course, section class Delta, free change approved. Proceed on course, we'll get your change approved. No, I can hear him. Look on the 7 Charlie Papa, I'm stationed, we'll landing assured. Look on the 7 Charlie Papa, Roger, report airborne. We'll go, 7 Charlie Papa. Now, Walko 244. Arrow 204, pass number for runway 24. 0304, dear number one, runway 24, clear for the option, and uh, you will be departing the pattern after this one, okay? 0304, roger that. Way to 49 or Tango, what's your position, sir? 75 miles southeast. Uh. Okay, uh, Meridian 950, Tango, what's your position? We're coming up a four mile final, 950, Tango. Okay, Meridian 950, Tango, you're number two, following the Diamond Twist, our left base, runway 24, clear to land. Third line number two, done, Tango. 
Roger Tower, Cessna 551 Echo Romeo, holding short of runway 24 at Alpha, ready for departure. Cessna 551 Echo Romeo, uh, no delay, runway 24, cliff takeoff. Right turn to the northwest is approved, action class Delta, free exchange approved. Cliff takeoff, runway 24, 551 Echo Romeo. And this one's time, Phoenix Air 24 is uh, in sequence for runway 24, ready for departure, and we're going to request a south departure back to the Phoenix 24, Roger, hold short, runway 24. Hold short, 24, thank you, Phoenix Air 24. Yeah, that's interesting, he just wanted to bring you inland. I'll just go out and then center. Sure, we'll 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 just use caution, I got a Mooney that's inbound from the southeast, transitioning over to the south for the left downwind of runway 24, okay? Looking for the Mooney, center of Toronto. Blackway Mooney is three miles to the south. Okay, Mooney 49 Tango, enter the right down, uh, correction, the left downwind runway 24 and report midfield. Uh, we'll be turning uh, midfield downwind 24. Uh, 244 is about three north. Blackway 244, uh, Roger, in the right downwind runway 24. Turn right downwind for 24, 244. And down, Skyline 822, come on, call me RNF24. Skyline uh, 8320 Mike, Flagler Tower, Port of 4 Mile Street, and Final Runway 24. Report 4 Mile Final, 220. Scott 702 Echo, I'll tell you what, you can go ahead and stay, go ahead and enter the left down when the moon is mid to the left cloud. Yeah, we'll run the left down. Like an older radio, it gets louder as you get closer. <laughs> I can hear him really well now. We're clear to land. After meridian side number 2, landing 2440 Echo. Tower 551 Echo Romeo, confirm right turn to the north. All right, gas is on. 551 Echo Romeo. Open tanks, undercare is down and welded. I'll go ahead and make sure. Pull forward. Rich. 551 Echo Romeo. I'll check the car feed as we turn base and then come in with a prop as we turn base to final. How are you doing back there, Ryan? Awesome, man. This is amazing. Tower 429 is now uh, five miles northeast of the field. Is there any room now? 429, just give me a couple more minutes and I'll have everything squared away. no problem. We'll be on frequency. Okay, don't hang out on a final because I got uh, uh, Skyline that's inbound on the RNAV. 429, we'll stay clear. 224 is mid right. Okay, uh, Wonka 244, you're number two, falling to Mooney, left base, runway 24, clear to land. Alright, call you on the traffic number two for 24, clear to land. 950 Tango right turn to Charlie, contact ground. You got number one? It's right there. Yep. Blackbird Tower, uh, 777 Hotel Echo is midfield. Left downwind, runway 24. Skag 702 Echo, give me a right 360. Right 360, 777 Hotel Echo. Driver to 204, if I want to lead the pattern. 0304, uh, how far up one are you? Uh, three to four, mile, mile and a half. Okay, take it to three and then make left traffic. Could you do that again, Richard? Four. Three, three zero four. Take it to three miles and then make left traffic. Three zero four three and left traffic. Thank you. I'm flying with Tower Terminal Four One Bravo. It's approximately ten miles to the southwest. Uh, we'll the west. Uh, would like to request uh, close traffic for the permission kilo. Do you guys have room for us? Terminal so, Four One Bravo. Uh, you can continue inbound. Remain clear of the class Delta and just give me a call. Mini 49 or Tango, right turn to Charlie, contact ground, point seven five. Charlie, point seven five, point Tango. Flag to Pop Coast, it's uh, Cardinal Flight of Two, uh, with information kilo. And they are miles to the south. Slam! Phoenix 24, uh, runway 24, clear. Yeah, they are. Right on the parts of the crew, dashing class Delta, Frank Shane's crew, no delay, please. Clear for takeoff, runway 24, Phoenix 24. Waco, just keep it coming. I'm departing a Cessna. He's no delay. Number one. Copy that. Now you're departing Cessna. 777 Hotel Echo is rejoining left downwind. Okay, Scott, 7 Hotel Echo, give me another 360, please.
5244 is with you to the um, uh, restaurant, please. Fox 244, flag go down, taxi to the ramp, Charlie Delta crossing one. Charlie Delta cross, which one? Stay good on the crossing. Okay, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Like, we got a crisis up here. No shit, that's <laughs> funny, dude. All right, clean it up. Ryan's still back. Back alive, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ryan's there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably never seen that before. Talk about putting us in close. <laughs> yeah, right? You saw what I was doing, right? I, I just... That was not a without delay takeoff. No. Was, sat there for a second. Oh, he said cross 1-1, one, one. that's what I thought he said. You see how that Cessna taking off in front of us? Yeah, I was like, is that normal? I was like, what? <laughs> well, that's why I but kept to the side. That's why you, exactly, yeah. you kept to the left. Yeah, it's just a 60 minute wait. <laughs> <laughs> Get those peeps are here, I'd rather just get them going. That's probably them. Oh, yeah, just have them hop in. I want to take this opportunity and talk about something Dave did on final here. The tower told us to keep coming and was departing a Cessna right in front of us without delay. However, the Cessna had a little bit of a delay. Dave did something very important in this scenario and stayed to the left of 2 4. Only when he knew for sure that the Cessna was going to be out of the way did he turn back and line up with the runway. Staying to the left here would make it much safer for us to perform a go around if needed. Yeah. <laughs> GoPro <laughs> Wars. Yeah, I'm gonna get some lunch now. <laughs> at uh, this restaurant called Hijackers connected to Flagler. Executive Airport. I always want to call it Flagler Beach Airport. It is Flagler Beach Airport. It but is, it's yeah. Flagler Executive or Flagler County is the proper term. So I'm uh, gonna go grab a cup of coffee, bite to eat. The restaurant is right talk about off what the just ramp. Happened, I think, right, right off the ramp. And uh, and then after we eat, Dave's gonna go fly a tour right now. And then when he's done, he's gonna come back, have some lunch, and we'll fly back to St. Augustine. 